Hey guys, right now I just feel compelled to share with you guys a spiritual message, you know. Um, recently, you know, I've been watching some sermons, you know, online. I like to, you know, dive into the Word and through a sermon. And uh, recently I was watching a sermon about purpose, you know, about uh, purpose in life. And uh, the sermon goes was, I watch it, you know, basically like, 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 you know, I learned that we tolerate pain if you know the purpose. You know what I mean? I, this guy was talking how like we all go through like pain in life, but as long as we know the purpose, you know, it, we're just gonna go through it. You know, we don't have a problem going through that, whatever it is. For example, like he 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 actually put it really well. Cause this one really speaks to me because I myself go to the gym. And you know, we already know it's gonna be painful. You, you know the quote, no pain, no gain. Well, you know, we, we wanna go through that. Well, why do we wanna go five days a week to the gym knowing that it's gonna be painful? Because, you know, you're gonna get gains. Well, for me, it's like a mental therapy. You know, I get to feel relaxed. I get to have the mental exercise and all that stuff. And uh, for people, you know, like when you go to the doctor and you wanna get treated, some people don't like no needle shots and you get that needle, you know, even though you, it's painful, a little pinch, you know what I'm saying? You want to go through it because you want to get well, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, um, for example, like you have an exam for students out there, you know, you forgot to study and your exam tomorrow, you want to like cram all that stuff. You said, you know, you could just be watching Netflix, but you, you don't want to fail, you know what I'm saying? So you got to do that whatever it is the exam is and you gotta cram all night you gotta stay up all night and you gotta wake up early you know like you gotta have to go through that and uh, when it comes to god we just for some reason we don't want to to go you know we, we just we don't want to go through the pain and, and and most of the time we're, we're mad at god like god what is why why do i have to go through this like is it, you know can this be over right now like for example you have a dream you know you, you want to accomplish you want to be a successful uh, in your job but you're not a successful yet you, you want to be successful successful in your business you're not successful yet it's just mad at God you know I think that you know the reason why we're mad is you don't know the purpose you know that we're able to go through going to the gym going to the doctor going through exams but when it comes to God we're just you know, God, I don't want to do this. And we're, you know, it, it's it's a good, valid reason. You know, we don't know the purpose. We want to do things with the purpose. And just, just the reality, God wants us, you know, to go through them without knowing any details about it. And all that we have to do is to trust Him. And even though we know that we should just trust Him time and time again in His Word, we still find it hard to trust Him. And you, you want to know why. You know why? Why? Why does God want us want us to go through the, those challenges um, without any purpose, without telling us the purpose? It's because one thing, one word, faith. He wants to leave room for faith because if He tells us that we're gonna be successful in our business right away, the exact date, you know, we're not gonna have a a reason to to have faith in Him. There's no room for faith because we already know it's coming. You know what I mean? But so, going through that experience, not knowing anything, makes us question. You know, but because it, the, the, the problem is, if He tells us again, we're not going to trust Him. We're going to focus not Him, we're going to focus on the blessing. So if we, if He tells us we're going to, you know, be successful in our business, we're going to be focusing on in the business. You know, we're not gonna focus on him. If we, for example, if you're single, you wanna you wanna get into a relationship. He tells you you're gonna get a girlfriend at a certain date. You're gonna focus on him, not on God. You know what I mean? So most of the time, we just focus. We have the tendency to focus on the blessing instead of, you know, him. We have the tendency to, to for example, the, uh, in, in in the music industry, people, you know, worship the the uh, the artist you know but at the end of the day you know we should not 
worship the, the, the artist, we should worship God. People, you know, always do that. They, they, we all tend to, to uh, worship the creation, not the creator. So yeah, at the end of the day, God wants us to have faith in Him. That's why He doesn't give us a purpose, to leave room for faith and just so that we could focus on Him. I hope you're blessed. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And I hope you enjoyed this beautiful fountain behind me. And I gotta get back to my ride. Uh, been a long day biking. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.